All right, guys, before we get into the armor destruction video, I just have a little bit of background information for you. After we completed the destruction test, we spoke with RTS Armor about the destruction we caused in this video, and they were actually really happy to hear that our plates were able to withstand 4570. And as such, uh, I need you guys to do me a favor and just keep that in mind. The rounds that we used were about three times the muzzle energy that the plates are rated for. So it's definitely not rated for that caliber, guys. Good job, RTS. Anyway, enjoy the video. And before we get into today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to Axel Ear Pro. These guys make some of the best stuff that I'm aware of. This is the Ghost Strike Extreme, the GS Extreme. And if you use our link in the description, you get a massive discount. I think it's somewhere between 25 and 50% off these units. They're Bluetooth. They are... Uh, sound amplifying, sound deadening, they've got different tips to fit different ear sizes, and overall they're just rad. So go check out them, the Axle GS Extreme, at the link down in the description. That would be greatly appreciated so that we can continue bringing videos like this. Welcome back to the Gun Collective. My name is John Patton. Ben is behind the camera. Guys, we've got a little bit of a review slash test today. We are on a very, very busy gun range today. It's a beautiful day, so everybody's out shooting. And what we're gonna be testing is this from RTS Tactical. It's a zero penetration level four ceramic plate. Now, they say that this will take multiple 30-06 black tip armor piercing rounds. We actually don't have any of that. However, we do have a menagerie of firearms to throw at this and multiple plates. So what we're gonna do is work through the guns here. First, we've got the HK SP5. It's sporting one of those brand new Viridian green dot optics up there. That's cool. It's got Magpul furniture. That's a neat gun. Then we've got down here the 429 PD from Smith & Wesson. That is an ultra lightweight, scary lightweight 44 Magnum. Then we've got Ben's 500 Magnum with the long boy barrel on there. We're gonna, That's kind of our pistol caliber things. Then we are going to move up, and we were kind of debating how we want to do this. However, we do know that speed is what kills armor. Speed is how rounds go through. So, that in mind, we are then going to jump to, get that bug out of here, we're going to jump to Ben's 4570, this is 1895 SBL with some he says, right, some hand hand loaded stuff that's really hot. It's it's factory, but it's it's okay, really it's, hot. It's really, really hot factory loads. And then we're gonna go to the Keltec in 556. We've got two different types, including 855A1, which is a penetrator round. It's not armor piercing, but it is a penetrator round, so we're excited to see how that goes. And then we're gonna step up to my grand. Now this is a gun I've actually never shot, which is exciting. So we're breaking it out today. We don't have black tip, however, we do have some 30-06. And we're gonna see what happens here. We're just gonna work our way through it. We've got one of these plates in a carrier downrange, and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, we are at about 12 yards. We are gonna start this test with the HK SP5. This is about a nine inch barrel, just shy of that. We're shooting 115 grain full metal jacket ammo. Uh, this optic has been zeroed, but I will still have to hold a little bit on the high side at this range. So, let's get to it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Slap. Drum mags are great when you're trying to shoot one round. Hey! All right, we've got the alternate camera here. Woohoo! Where'd you hit? So, I hit, hit uh, about where I was aiming, so not too bad. Um, That's positive. Yes. Off to a good I, start. I held just a touch high for this distance, and it looks like uh, we have a hole in the carrier, which is, is good, good. <laughs> uh, it should go through the carrier. Yes, we, we, we hope that the carrier is not uh, what's going on. Do you want to pull that thing out of there? Yeah, I'm going to pull it out. I'm just observing there is a little bit of white I'm guessing that's from the uh, ceramic coming back out of the front of the hole. Okay. Uh, so let's tear her open. Let's see what we got. Oh, it would help if I pulled the right Velcro, you know. That's a lot of Velcro. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, if this thing's supposed to protect a very specific part of your body, you really don't want it moving. So I don't blame them for Fair putting point. all that in there. Whoa. Whoa. That's interesting. Uh, for not having any spall, there's... 
Okay, this is going to be an interesting test. So that's they jacket. Say, they say almost no spalling, and that's that's uh, clearly I mean, jacket. Yeah, it's definitely jacketing. I, I'm. It looks like in this area is where it can't. Oh, look, this is sharp right here. Yeah, it's coming out. Another piece that fell down. And that's so. with just a. Uh, 115 9 mil. This is gonna get interesting. Let's go. Hell yeah. All Let's right. go. And there is a uh, back face deformation, by the way. Oh, there is a little bit? Yeah, you can feel it. Let's see if we can see it. Hold that like that. Yes, you can see it a bit. Okay. Let's keep rolling. So, after an interesting result, we've decided to step it up a notch. This is 44 Magnum, 180 grain jacketed hollow points. It's PMC so. bronze, and they say 1750 feet per second muzzle velocity. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, this is coming out of a 329 PD. This is an airweight revolver, so uh, this shouldn't be too pleasant. And uh, John is laughing because I hate my life right now. And I'm about to hate my life so, more after this is done. We got this gun in for review, but we have not shot it yet. And uh, this is the first round. Yeah. So Yay. let's all enjoy Ben's pain. Yeah. Okay. I'm very curious to see if we can get any spalling or penetration. All right. Uh, I'm going to flinch in three, two, one. Ow! Did I hit the ground in front of the carrier? Sure did. Uh, that's because I suck at shooting, and I, so John made me get another round. I got hit by a rock. Damn. Yeah. I pro. Where I pro at the range. All right, we're going to try that again. Um, and this time, I'm not going to embarrass myself and not count down either. I'm just going to take my time and shoot like you're supposed so fucking supposed to? Yeah, that, that's a thing. I think that was a good hit. That hit the carrier. Uh, How was that shooting experience? Uh, surprisingly not too bad. Like, it definitely is jarring, but it's not nearly as bad. That's why I didn't flinch in the second round, because I knew what to expect. Um, I did get a lot of like blast back in the face, um, so this thing does spray. There's also a lot of unburnt powder in the uh, barrel right now, which I find kind of surprising. <laughs> EMC bronze. Okay, what happened? Um, I hit the carrier the second time. Um, way low, because, you know, I don't know this gun, and I also flinch a lot. So let's take a look at it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, let's get in there. That, that's a lot. Um, so we have lead core, we have jacket, and we have more jacket. I don't think we're going to get all the way to 30-06. We're going to find out. I mean, we're going to shoot it. We're probably going to need a second plate for this, though. We'll probably grab the second plate, because that's... that's <laughs> I mean, that's less than out. ideal if you're trying to protect yourself with this, but uh, so far, the spalling has not made it through the carrier. Yeah. And has been uh, mostly, question mark, upward inflection inside the plate. Flip it over, and let's see for... Uh, definitely a bigger bulge than 9 millimeter. Hang on, let me get this low angle. You guys can kind of see that, like... Whoop! Yeah. Okay, yeah, so definite deformation, and wow, yeah. okay, what's what's next, Ben? Uh, I promise you guys I won't flinch with the 500. I promise you guys I won't flinch with the 500. I promise you guys I won't flinch with the 500. Next one's up. Uh, we have the Smith & Wesson Model 500. These are 300 grain uh, XTPs. Uh, it's loaded by arms core, so this is not super hot stuff, but it's what we had on hand. Uh, so this is an eight and three eighths inch barrel, so we should get a decent amount of velocity out of this round. Let us see. Hey John, what did I say to the audience? Something about how you're gonna miss? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna flinch on this one. Good hit. Damn. You know what's funny is Weird. that that was not as uh, absurd as the 44. The carrier feels a little warm. <laughs> you said the carrier feels warm? I don't know if it's just, but we don't have sun and it's under shade anyway, so it can't be the sun, but like the top of the carrier is really warm. Here, let me feel that. Oh, I'm pulling on the wrong side. No, up here, up where here. I hit. This is where I hit, right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. That's pretty bad. Um, okay. Oh, boy. So this uh, tore the hell out of the uh, spall coating. We have a piece of jacket right here. 
a big piece of jacket. I'm trying to cut myself. Ooh, piece of jacket. Uh, ooh, piece of jacket. Ooh, piece of jacket. So this is our actual impact point, and Are you kidding it me? basically bounced everything back out. It was leaned back just a bit. Yeah. Right? But you can see down in here all the uh, the stuff on the inside. I see broken ceramic down in here. There's actually a pretty large cavity with a lot of broken ceramic down there. I don't know it's, if you can see. Uh, kinda. It's tough to see. So you're saying that it went in here and just burst out the top here. Yeah. Oof. Uh, uh, so why back don't face you pick deformation. That carrier up? I have an idea. Pick the carrier up and see if you can dump anything out. I want to look to see what's in there because we. Oh. Oh, look at this. Did something come through? Perhaps. It looks like something came up and out. Maybe the high speed will reveal that yeah. something came through there. We're not 100%, so we're not going to claim that, but... I, oh, yeah. There's dump a, that out. There's a now, lot. That, that could be from the other ones, but there is a significant amount of shite inside there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of crap in here. Uh, so we're going to rattle, rattle, rattle. Oh, yeah. All the jacket. Okay, so... We understand that these pistol cartridges and Magnum pistol cartridges are doing some hefty damage to this plate. Uh, let's see uh, back deformation. That's significant. Oh, that is. That's, I mean, that, that's, that's rib breaking. That looks uncomfortable. I'm, I'm dumping pieces of ceramic out now. Are you? Yeah, right, right over here. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. a lot of ceramic coming out of it. Okay. I mean, you guys can hopefully see that there's ceramic coming out of the top it's a lot. okay oops uh what's next the uh, 4570 is yeah next? 4570 it's the last uh big heavy uh round and then we get into actual rifles okay what's that ben uh this is my t-rex gun this is my uh marlin 1895 sbl this is a, a pre ruger one uh so no fancy fluting or anything like that but it's been a great gun for me. Uh, so we're shooting a 400 grain hard cast uh, round out of this. I forget who loads this, but uh, this is a bit of a thumper. So it should really smack the plate and chatter any stuff that's left in there. We've also backed off to roughly 25. Yeah. Just to uh, give more realistic sort of rifle distances. Yep. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see. This is gonna hurt. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait. Yes, you are. Oh, that thing did a freaking backflip. Clear? Clear. Let's go check it out. <laughs> He's nursing the injury already. Ooh. All right, cut the high speed. That's going to be a bruise tomorrow. That did a freaking backflip. That did a flip, yeah. So It was down here. It was all the way oh down here. Oh my god, look at this carrier. <laughs> so, all right. I don't think that should be bulging like that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Flip her over and let's let's take a, another look. Did anything come out of the top? Uh, it, it looks like something shredded through here. I can't tell if that okay. was... I think that's an out, not an in. Because that's an in. Is that where you hit? I believe so, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Right next to where the 500 hit. Yep. That's why you have all that back face deformation. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm I'm as ready as. Okay, that felt good. Um... <laughs> so like fused together. It's uh, so deformed, it's not wanting to slide out of the carrier. <sighs> oh, I don't know if you guys could hear that. Look Ooh, at that ceramic shit. right there. That is a huge chunk of ceramic. That's bad. And we have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the money shot right there. That's the money shot. So it looks like they've got like a hard r foamy thing around the edge, I guess, to catch any spall that's coming. Let's let's take a look. That's rough. Oh boy, <laughs> that really just <laughs> that would ruin your day. Is there anything inside the carrier that you can dump out? Oh yeah, uh, I just. Oh saw my gosh! A look at look at the cavity. Yeah, that's massive. Okay, let's let's give her a shake, shake, shake. Oh, that's toast. There's the. Uh, that's, some... That's from the 500. Okay. That's the back of the 500. Um, there's some pretty smashed lead here. 
I mean, hard cast. <sighs> yeah, I don't see, I don't see any of the hard cast. I don't know where that is. It didn't go through, but it could have jumped it, up it and It just out. completely opened it up. So, oh, there you go. So it blew the top out of the uh, carrier. So we definitely have some uh, spall come out the top of the carrier. That's going into your chin. Yeah, that's uh, that's dead yeah. as far as we're concerned. Yeah, that's that's a failure. And, and this that... wasn't even that severe. This was a bunch of pistol calibers. It's supposed to hit, take multiple hits of black tip. There's so much more muzzle energy to that. I don't know. I mean, it could be because you hit it kind of near where the 500 hit. Kind of near, but still kind of near. Like, All right, I so let's let's review. Inches. So 9 mil. Yeah. This was... Uh, 44 mag. 44 mag. That was 500. 500 and it kind of blew out here. And, and then, then 4570. 4570 and... And out. they're not they're not stacked on top of each other. These are all spread out. So that would be like two rounds of black tip. And they say multiple black tip. Yeah. I am very curious. So we're right. obviously going to need to get out another plate. We, we if we, we have the right four way. of these, so if we need to yeah. go through them all, that's fine. But we're going to find out what this will really take. So far, 4570 will defeat this. And uh, we are going to keep using the same carrier because why waste an, another good carrier uh, if it's just going to get these holes and shreds in it? All right. Let's go get a fresh plate and try that 4570. How's your shoulder? Oh, not that bad, actually. That was. It's just been a while, so there's a little bit of shock and all. I'm, uh, I suffer from LBS, so... Uh, you're gonna have to forgive the little. What bitch is syndrome. what is LBS for the internet? Little bitch syndrome. Oh. Uh... Yeah. So don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> I, I, I get meds now. All right. All right. We swapped the plate out uh, because the other one was useless. We are going to hit the fresh plate with one round of 4570 400 grain hard cast. Here we we'll go. Give it a fair bet, but a fair chance. Yeah. We we don't know if this will completely shatter the plate by itself, but we would like to see if that's true. Okay, no backflip this time. Let's go see what that plate has to say about it. Clear, Daddy, please. All right, what do we have here? Okay, um, I'm not paying attention to holes in the carrier, so let's just pop this baby open and see what we got. I should be wearing gloves for this. Holy cow. Oh boy. So that's a fair shot. Yeah. It's not dead center, but that's a totally fair shot. And we have a lot the of same, fray on the side. The same issue. And it's coming right through the carrier too. So that would be into like armpit shoulder area. That And it's all in here too. Look, you got lead. That is the hard cast lead from the 4570. Oh no, wait, that's rubber. Uh, that's like coating. Some of that is, some of that is a spall coating. Some of that is lead. Okay. Um, and then ceramic all in back here. And I rattled this out before I uh, oh I did this test. That's one round okay. of 4570 on a level four rated plate. I mean, I don't know if it's meant to be able to take that, but my brain says that There's no theory, reason why it shouldn't. In theory, I mean, I don't know what kind of muzzle energy we're dealing with there, but. It's significant, but it's not crazy. I'm not shooting like 300 Win Mag at it or something, or like some crazy Nitro Express round. It's just 4570. I think what we need to do now that we know 4570 absolutely defeats this armor, no question. Uh, I think we need to just start with a fresh plate again yeah. and go to 556 and see what happens. I think we're going to see a much different result with the uh, bottlenecked, the fast, small cartridges versus uh, these big bores because these are like freight trains. And yeah. that's like a laser. All right. So new plate and we'll try again. We're going to do one of XM193 and then one round of M855A1. And for the sake of shorter video, we're going to do these two back to back because that is a fresh plate, plate and we should have no problems with these two both being stopped by that plate. Fresh plate. Fresh plate. Okay. And I will try and put them in different spots so that, you know, YouTube doesn't get angry and say that uh, we unfairly shot the plate because bad guys only spread. I mean, we'll know if it goes. One of them goes into the dirt. We'll see it. Yeah. 
Nope, that that held it. Yep. Okay. Let's go investigate. Ben told me to start rolling. Okay, what's going on? Uh, there's like smoke coming up the top of the... Uh, is that just ceramic carrier? dust? I, I don't know if it's ceramic dust. Probably is. It could have been a couple sparks from oh. that um, 855A1. I'm, I'm not it's sure. really hard to see on camera, but there's like faint... It's smoking. Oh, you can see it a tiny bit. That can't be dust. That's smoking. It probably had a couple sparks. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it's pouring ceramic out the bottom again. <laughs> I, I shook oh, this out. Boy. I did shake this out. Oh boy. I mean, we'll know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Damn. So I believe this was your first hit. Yeah. And that would have been. Which that, one, which this one is was XM193. That's what I shot first. Okay. And then I aimed lower and I did uh, the, the A M855A1. A1. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on here. So, There's not a lot of deformation. So a little bit of separation in the material. Yeah, Let me you come around so you guys there. can see a little bit better. So light deformation. Okay, and and obviously destroy the ceramic. Yeah. I mean, my, my opinion as of now is there's no way in hell this is going to take multiple 30-06 rounds. AP, no. I just, I just can't see it happening. But we're gonna find out when we shoot thirty out six. I think I think it'll hold a couple of them. Okay. Um, uh, and the, what what happened? Do we have deformation? We, we have some, but it's not a lot. So it actually did okay with the A one. Yeah, it did. It did fine with the A one. It stopped the round. It did its job. It was a little messy, but I'm not really gonna knock it because it wasn't blowing everything out of the front of the carrier. It did blow some up out of the carrier, but that was out of a previous hole. Um, so the carrier seems to have caught most of it. I think you're getting a little small, but I don't think that's lethal to you. So it, it's doing okay. I want to hit this with the um, uh, 30 out six. You want to hit that we, plate before we swap plates? Yeah, I want to hit this one. Okay. I think See if we can. It. Let's try to get a hit I'm like down, down in there. Uh, we have. Uh, and again, to be fair, I'm gonna rattle out all the ceramics so that we can see all the fresh stuff that comes out of it. All right, go ahead. Alrighty, we have a Garand and I have a thumb. So, 30-06, full metal jacket. No, I don't have clips for this thing. I left them at home. If you wish Ben would smash his finger in there again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, like and comment. Okay, 30-06. Okay. All right. Did we get a good center hit? Uh, judging by the deformation on the back of the carrier that I feel right now before I even open it up, yes, I hit exactly where I meant to, and it did exactly what I expected it to do. Okay. And that area is now worn. Here's how that happens. There's a little bit of... A little bit of schmooze. Stuffs. Yeah. Oh, we got oh. a little... Uh, oh. Splitty, splitty, and I don't think I hit it that low. Yeah, we're going to find out here. where you hit it. Okay. Oh, time for the big... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Ouch. Oh. See? Okay, so, so, first of all, let's give uh, a like on the video for Ben's excellent shot placement. Yeah, that's... Excellent that's shot placement. Pretty well spread out. That's exactly... Especially since that was the third round I've ever fired through that gun. Um, and we have a decent amount of deformation. That, oh, my uh, God. It's like an apple. There's, oh there's a significant bulge there. Significant. Ladies, calm down. Uh, okay. It stopped the round, though. I mean, we don't have uh, clay to judge it, it based it off like of. It, like, folded the edge. But it's, like... Okay, so we have... Oh, man. You can see separation here. Yeah. All right, what we have is another fresh plate. Same stuff. Yeah. And we are going to shoot it with multiple 30-06s. Actually, yeah. can we? Yeah, we have enough. Does not have a clip. Uh, I don't care. I'll single load every single one of them. Okay. We don't have so, to film everything, we just shoot it and see it fails. Okay. Here we go. New plate. 
So this is how you uh, single load over and over again because you're an idiot and uh, didn't bring a clip with you. Sorry, magazine. No, they're... they're, they're magazine. They're, no clip. No magazine. No clip. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're just going to keep shooting this until it breaks. Oh, good. You get. You don't have to yeah. go fix it. <laughs> This lighting is not my friend today. That wasn't a good one. What do you mean? Uh, it was off to the side. I hit it, but not this. Okay, thing. let's do one more and yeah. see where we're at. It's probably going to move it real far with this one. I bet you we're going to get some ceramic. This stuff. is an off-angle shot. That thing's like laying down. I think you put it in the bottom. All right, I'll do another one. Let's do oblique shots. Ow, my thumb. Oh yeah, that was a nice pop. Okay, let's go look. I can see fibers out the top right here. I don't oh. know what they're from. Maybe that's from the carrier? Yeah, that's, that's the carrier, the carrier coming separating. Apart. Um, a lot of deformation. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, you think there's a little... Uh, there might be some stuff in there. I don't know, I don't know. Pull it out, we'll see. Oh, sorry, I'm trying. It's stage fright sometimes. Gosh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't know that I can get this out in one piece. Oh. So okay, so these were 145 grain military classic. You can see that's one of the rounds there. I'll pick it up. This is Wolf military classic ammo that we were just using, not AP. Yeah, this isn't super... This is not black tip. High pressure. Are you really that, having that much trouble getting that out of there? Yeah, yeah, because it's it's so wide now, and I really don't want to cut my fingers. Oh, you're definitely going to cut your hands all yeah. apart. That shoved something way up in there. I think it caught one of those. Oh, oh, there you something go. Something went through. Something I think it was through. probably that one that yeah, went in the that back. Yeah, that low angle one, because that was all shattered underneath, and it just sailed right through. All right, keep trying to pull that out of there. At this point, can we just cut the camera? Yeah, yeah, if you got a knife, that'll cut through that. For the people that will ask, what is that? This is a zero tolerance. This is a uh, zero six zero niner. Show me, show me for the people. Okay, there you go. That's what Ben is cutting this apart with. This is a uh, twenty CV for the knife nerds out there. Dude, that's doing a pretty good job cutting through there. That's... Yeah, this is a fantastic knife. Oh my gosh, look at that plate. <laughs> oh, ouch. I think because I was aiming in the same place, I landed most of the rounds in the same place. I mean, they said that's, it would take multiple. That's four rounds of ball ammo. That's not AP. Okay, let's look at the back first, because I want to see what happened there. So it looks like there's, it looks like one round made it through, because I wasn't likely, stacking rounds that good. It's likely that really low one. Yeah, because it wait. No, because it, no, it's it's up here. Huh. The one that went through was up here. It, it hit here. It didn't, it didn't come in through the bottom. What the? It hit here, but there was no ceramic left because I shattered that area, and it just sailed right through. There's an untouched, or almost untouched tile. More tiles that are slightly damaged, but you can only really see how it's put together now. And I don't see... I mean, it shattered these. There's a little this, piece of jacket here. Again, for reference, this was a virgin plate, just 30-06 ammo. Yeah. Virgin plate, four rounds, uh, ball, 30-06. And I don't know what the armor standard is for these level fours, but uh, that's not multiple rounds of black tip. No. I mean, I could see if you spread out multiple rounds. Like, I could probably still hit the top of the plate. The top of the plate's fine. You see how small those tiles are. So as long as the fibers are still lined up in the back and the tiles are still intact, I bet you I could hit the top of the plate and it wouldn't go through. But... I'm aiming basically in the same area, which, you know, I guess you shouldn't be standing in one place. But if you think you're behind cover and you get hit, I'm going to try and aim at the same spot. This is also iron sights. Like, this wasn't modern optic. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know if we have a conclusion. We're going to double check with the company about the 4570. We talked about that off camera. We want to make sure 
that, uh, you know, we're not crapping on anybody for something that is not supposed to be rated for. However, yeah. uh, very interesting results today. Very interesting. Uh, the anti-spalling that they said was like, they said little to no spalling. Uh, I mean, 9 mil spalled out of the, the thing. So yeah, I think that's... Yeah, coming out with 9 mil and then you had ceramic flying out with the bigger stuff. Ceramic coming out the side of the carrier. That's significant. <laughs> All right, let's go put all these together and uh, gather our thoughts. Okay, so this is going to be our final thoughts on this. Uh, we have the four plates lined up in front of us. We started with uh, the HK uh, SP5 9mm full metal jacket, 115 grain. That is the 44 mag, 180 grain jacketed hollow point. We have the Smith & Wesson 500, 300 grain XTP right here. Then the 4570, 400 grain hard cast which destroyed this plate. We then put up a new plate. We hit it again with a single round of 4570, 400 grain hard cast, which blew out the side. That plate's toast. Obviously we could hit a little bit more. Uh, here we have the beginning of our next rifle uh, rounds. So this is uh, XM193556 full metal jacket. We have M855A1. That is the steel penetrator, enhanced penetration round. It's not an armor piercing round, it's a penetrator. And then we went to 30 aught 6. This is standard ball ammunition, and that blew out the bottom of this one. So okay. we said that plate is toast, and just for fun, we put up our last plate. This one kind of has a kickstand. We then hit it with four consecutive rounds of 30 aught 6 ball ammo, or full metal jacket. Uh, the first couple, it did stop but then we did get an actual penetration here at an oblique angle. Uh, there was just no ceramic left to stop that last yeah, round. Yeah, the plate had already failed at that point. Yeah. And we think that that may have been one coming in at a off angle, which kind of, instead of going through the front, came in through the back, or we're, we're not exactly sure, but that's a non-standard hit, so we're not gonna hold that against it. What do you think, Ben? Is, is this something you would trust your life with at this point knowing what you yeah, know I think now I'm gonna use this one I'm just gonna put it back in the carrier right here and uh, a little bit of duct tape and I'm good to go I'll go home like this that's fine no uh, I have uh, my own preferences of level four plays um, this stuff kind of concerning although uh, can we say that if the ATF knocks at your door 4570 is probably a better than black tip 30 I don't 6? think we can say that then I'm not gonna say that I'll never say that I don't think we can say that <laughs> Well, I think the, the reality is that they said no spalling, little to no spalling. The 9 mil spalled, came out of the front. It did not leave the carrier, but still spalling. And yeah, we got sp significant spall from 500, 4570, 4570, a little bit with the uh, 556. We saw the, smoke with the 556. Yeah, the um, 30 aught 6. Definitely blew some out, but not as bad with the single rounds. It wasn't until consecutive rounds where you have uh, ceramic flying everywhere. I mean, you know, we are going to get on the phone with RTS and verify a few things before we publish this video. But right now, this does this doesn't look great. <laughs> it doesn't look great. No, I mean, I, I was expecting a little bit more durability out of these than like three rounds of ball. 30 odd six or a single round of 4570 making it fail you would not want to be on the other side of that with a single hit that's a lot of deformation and that's a lot of ceramic coming out the side that spall from a non-necked it's technically a tapered case round wow all right well if you guys enjoyed this video Give me likes for my grand thumb, please. And get subscribed if you want to see more stuff like this. Let us know down in the comments. Yep. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time.